Hello there. So today I'd like to try to show you all how to up beyond the box, give you a quick visualization of how some of these angles work in conjunction with the modifiers, and hopefully this will make uh, time for the current box users and future box users a little bit easier when it comes to learning about angles. So let's start ourselves on easy, no modifiers for right now. You want to up B, just up and B at the same time. Pretty easy. You want to go to the right, up B into the right or up B to the left, and you can see that it's sending me, I believe this is a 45 degree angle with no modifiers. Pretty important. Um, you can also see speed of which I'm reading this up uh, B into the right or to the left. It's not super strict timing, it's pretty lenient, so you, you have a little bit of time to think about where you want to go. Now let's up the difficulty a little bit, let's add in some modifiers. You want to get, let's say, um, a main or something like that. You're going to need a modifier. We want a modifier that's going to interact with uh, the y axis, not the x axis. So we don't want modifier x, we want modifier y. So when I hit up B to the right with modifier y, you can see on this angle visualizer I have on, it's going to send me, if I recall correctly, at a 67 degree angle. Right. Now, that's awesome and everything, but what if I want to go a little bit further out from that direction, like a little bit further forward, right? We're going to need to use the C-stick buttons in order to obtain different angles. Uh, so let's say I up beat to the right with a modifier Y, and then I added in C-stick down. That will send me at a little bit slightly different angle than just hitting modifier Y from the up beat. You can see with the modifier Y, it sends me here. With a C-stick down and a modifier Y, it sends me a little bit further up. And then the same thing can be said with the the C stick to the left, C stick up, C stick to the right. Um, it's it's all it's all the logic of it is is if you choose a modifier and you go from C stick down and you move clockwise from C stick down to the left up to right, um, essentially it's going to bring you closer and closer to the forty five degree uh, angle that you had before without modifiers. Same thing can be said about uh, modifier X with your up B. If you do it without any seat stick angles, I believe this is 23 degrees, if I recall correctly, yeah. So, you know, you want to do uh, up B, modify X down, uh, to the left, to, to up, and then to right. You can see that it's, you know, as well, bringing you closer and closer to that 45 degrees. So, that's, uh, that's pretty nice. Um, it's important to note, I'd like to show you this as well, that for our virtual joystick, obviously, over here, there's four quadrants, 11 angles each for each quadrant, 44 angles in total, and then with the C-stick buttons added in when you use those with the modifiers, you're getting an extra four angles, so you get 48 angles in total. Pretty important to note. Um, and all the, all the angles that you saw on the stream are the ones that I used uh, from this visualizer, this little diagram right here, these are all the angles I showed you on stream. So, yeah. um, I'd also like to try to show you guys about the extended up B. I'm gonna make this a little brief and only do it with a uh, chic, because that's the easiest that I can tell to visually see the difference. Um, but I'd like to show you that. So, um, extended up B is essentially just you know on on box you hold the button down when you when you up B you, instead of holding Z down which is what on R1 you used to have to do to get your extended up B now you just up B and you hold the button down you'll get extended one now it's important to note that doesn't uh, I think it's it's pretty hard to tell the difference with extended up B without modifiers versus uh, with modifiers so like if I do up B to the right, or excuse me, up B straight over with a modifier, I'm gonna, oops, excuse me, uh, let, let me, let me alter that, up B to the right with modifier. It's a, a, I'm a little new at this when it comes to the extended up B, sorry. So you can tell when I do this that it's not actually sending me up when I do up to the right modifier. I'm not actually going all the way to that platform like I should be or like you think you should be. If you up B to the right with that modifier and you hold the B button down, excuse me, okay. I'm actually making it to the platform. Sorry, rough example, I know, but the point stands is you just have to up B, uh, 
and hold the button down when you're using modifier X or modifier Y, and you'll get an extended up B. It'll do the same thing on non-modifier uh, inputs with 45 degrees. It's just going to be a bit harder to tell, if I recall correctly. Um, someone correct me if I'm wrong on that last part about a Sheik player. So hopefully this was helpful to you, and um, I will be making more videos, so I will see you guys sometime around soon. Let me know what you think, and um, check the, the description for for links to the Fox Discord and all that stuff. Shout outs to Ecovid for giving me all the valuable information to get the course um, for making this possible. And uh, hope you all have a great rest of your day.